YouTube and welcome to another episode of Sitting on the Toilet in My Hotel Beer Review. Uh, so I am in here in the washroom. I'm not doing anything. Pant shorts are on and all that. But hey, it's a quiet place. So this beer is from Sleeping Giant right here in Thunder Bay. Um, you know what? I figured I'm about to about to go back to to work it's my last like couple days let's let's do something in thunder bay so here we go so snow goose is a coffee vanilla porter it's 6.4 percent alcohol by, by volume and it does say its ingredients are water malted barley hops yeast coffee and vanilla so not natural flavors actual coffee and vanilla so let's hope there's no explosion because I have been moving it around a lot in my hand. Oh, I forgot to check the packaged on date. I really was kind of curious how fresh this was. Well, we'll probably finish it on camera and then I can check, right? Right? Is it written in the same area? Oh, so this one was packaged back in December. So. It's getting there, eh? And uh, I mean, it's a dark beer, but I, I actually find it hard to believe that nobody bought this out if this was packaged in December, because it, we're now coming on the end of September, so this is a good ten months old. Uh, how did the coffee vanilla porter? Well, I don't know. Maybe it tastes like junk, but how? That's that's something I would have rushed out to get. There is vanilla, there is coffee, there is a beautiful rosiness. Let's try it. Cheers. I know Porter shouldn't have rosiness, but... Well, oh, that's really solid. Um, I think the reason I think this is really solid is this reminds me a lot of the original Mill Street Vanilla Porter. I mean, it's not on nitro, so it's not like... It's not quite as good, but that's what it reminds me of. And there's some dark roastiness, there's some burnt toast. There's a dark, dark chocolate. There's also both green and dark roasted coffee. And there's a sup supple bitter, uh, bitterness, a supple uh, vanilla note on the end. And the sweetness of that vanilla just makes the rest of the beer just work so much nicer together. Oh yeah, see this is a beer. There are beers that I taste and I go, man, this would be great in a barrel. And I think Snow Goose would be great in a barrel. I think all it's missing is probably a few notes from a barrel. Um, I know I sound underwhelmed, but I think I'm only sounding underwhelmed for for two reasons. One, like, how the hell did this go ten months without selling out? And two, it's like the last beer I'm going to have until a year from now. It's kind of a sad moment. Out of 10, I, I love Mill Street Vanilla Porter. At least I should say I loved it. And I loved it when I had it before Mill Street was bought out with Steve standing at the fermenter. And he pulled it fresh from the fermenter for me to try it. And my lord was it good. And then the nitro, the nitro did dumb down the flavor a lot, unfortunately, because I think they really need to sell that beer on Nitro and not on Nitro, but we're digressing because we're talking about a macro brewer now over over these guys, but what I'm saying is like I, I've loved it forever, but I had it fresh right out of the fermenter before they put it to the Nitro, and I, I gave that beer a 10 out of 10. I loved it. This reminds me so much of it. 
And again, the only thing that's missing is that mouthfeel because I think that mouthfeel would dumb down a little bit of the coffee bitterness. You'd still get the green coffee popping through, but it would dumb down a little bit of the coffee bitterness. And it would dumb down a little bit of the burnt toast. But other than that, everything else should shine through green. But again, I'm digressing because we're talking about this beer, not this beer on nitro. But I think that's all that's missing is that mouthfeel. Maybe if I pour it into a cup, I'd get something different because again, as most of you know, I normally review beers out of glassware, but I'm in a hotel in Thunder Bay a day before I go back to the Arctic. I don't, I don't have a cup. It's a fucking solid beer. I can't give this anything lower than a nine. So a nine. Cheers.